Welcome to video 81 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to write the enemy health script. Okay so the enemy is invulnerable and the first step to changing that is to give him a health script. thought for a second I was writing jetpack. No I don't want to give him a jetpack. Okay so first of all private enemy master enemy master and private in enemy help. Perhaps I should give that a starting value of, say, 100. I could even make that public so you can set it. Yeah, why don't I do that public? I won't have a start and update method, and I will have a void deduct help and int I didn't spell that right. Help change. Let me go back there and correct that. There we go. And inside of set initial references will be enemy, no enemy master. Let's go to get component. Enemy master. Let's call that. And then for deducting the health, enemy master dot event enemy deduct health plus equal deduct health done. Inside of the method itself, so enemy health minus equal health change. If the enemy health is less than or equal to zero, then enemy health just set to zero in case you are displaying it anywhere, so it becomes a proper number. And we need to say enemy master, no, not enemy health, enemy master dot call event enemy die. Okay, and then destroy game object. So we will remove the enemy. And when will we do it? We'll do it random dot range anywhere between 10 to 20 seconds. You can set this to whatever you feel like, even shorter or longer. And so the enemy will be removed from the level because that cleans it up and frees up resources for us too. And uh, I think that's actually it. Okay, so that's good. Let's go back to Unity. Just attach it. We won't see it in action. It's still a while yet. We've got to wait till the end of the chapter before... Oh, uh, we can actually damage this enemy. But let's attach it on. Okay, 100 health. Hit apply. Let's just run it. Make sure that there's no obvious problems. I can't see any, which is all good. And no errors. All good. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.